fellows. Today we are going to learn how to use wildcard in HexLookup. Just like you can use wildcard characters in VLOOKUP and match etc. We can also use them in HexLookup but slightly different. So we'll see how we can use it but here main question is what is a wildcard use? So wildcard for example is static question mark we use to fetch data that we don't know how long the length of the data will be or what will be the characters ahead of it. For example, we want to search Apple in this table, but Apple, if you see, contains INC dot at the end as well, which means if Apple has something else, it is not difficult to find out when you can see visually, but when you look it up, it's very difficult to fetch it with the lookup. So we will use wildcards to tell Excel that find Apple, doesn't matter after Apple there's text or before Apple there's a text. For example, in case of, um, let's say use here group. So in case of group, it, will, it should fetch Alibaba. So after and before we will check both uh, the information. So is equal to X lookup this is the text then we will enter here the wildcard that is static in this case and we'll put and and well and we will also ask d2 that is the cell where the information is we need to look up we will close um, the function here with wildcard at the other end as well which means now static means everything before d2 or the other static means everything after doesn't matter what it is if it is something containing d2 data then give us the capital for that so i will search here the information from this is a field and i will select it and make it constant because you we will use it for other um, okay i messed it up i'll go back i will select here and after that i press f4 to make it constant it is constant now you can see i'll press comma and i will select the capital from where the data should be picked this is the normal um, x lookup syntax i will press again f4 to make it constant as well now double comma and then we can see there are multiple options and the option is wildcard character match this is what we need i will select this and i will close parenthesis simple as that it has fetched apple apple's number here you can see the capital then if i drag it down it must grab information about alibaba as well so in this case it was behind uh, d2's data and in these three cases it was after which was not available to us in a case if we are looking up huge data so excel has automatically and intelligently searched the data related with your column and fashed out the capital for that i hope you enjoyed it fellas and it was useful please do share your comments and subscribe to the channel i wish you good safe and healthy day ahead speak to you soon then bye bye <laughs>